How do you fix SI joint pain in 30 seconds? If you've had SI joint pain or sacroiliac joint pain, you know how incredibly painful it can be. It can just grab you when you're standing up from sitting or when you go upstairs or step up a curb. That SI joint pain or pain right back there in the back of your hip or in the back of your butt can be a true pain in the butt. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a really quick, simple tip that you can use to relieve SI joint pain in 30 seconds. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll give you a couple tips that you can use to help keep it from coming back as well. If you're having SI joint pain, usually the cause of it is the SI joints, which are the two hip bones here. One of them is usually rotated in some fashion or stuck in out of place where it shouldn't naturally be. And so one thing that causes SI joint pain, probably the most common, is where the SI joints are rotated where one's either forward or one's backwards. And so the things that cause that are a muscle imbalance between the muscles on the front side of your body and the muscles on the back side of your body. Now the main muscles that affect your SI joints are your quadricep and hip flexor muscles right here, specifically your rectus femoris and your iliopsoas muscles right there. They rotate your SI joint forwards. Additionally, your abdominal muscles counterbalance those muscles and they rotate the SI joint backwards. Now on the back side of your body, you have your glute and hamstring muscles, which they also pull on the back of the SI joint. And so they rotate it backwards. And then finally, your lumbar extensor muscles, these muscles right back there, they attach to the top of the back, and so they rotate it forwards. And so when you have too much stiffness in either your quad muscles and your lumbar extensor muscles, it rotates the SI joint in a forward direction. When you have too much stiffness in your hamstrings or glutes and your abdominals, but that's rare, it's usually the hamstrings that are the main cause of rotating it backwards, then that can cause a backward rotation of the SI joint. And so how do you know which one you have? Well, there are a few simple muscle tests that you can use, specifically if your hip flexors are tight. If you lay down like this on a bed or a couch, or this is an ottoman that I'm using right now, and bring both knees up to your chest and then just let one fall down. Ideally, this should fall all the way down to parallel with the bed. Now, as you can see here, my hip flexors are a little bit tight. And so what that would cause is one SI joint to rotate in a forward direction like that. And you can also test your hamstring muscles, test by going up to 90 degrees, you should be able to get close to a 90 degree angle. You may not get completely all the way up, but you should be able to get close to 90 degrees. Now, if you test that on both sides and you notice that say one hip flexor is tighter than the other, and that happens to be on your sore side, then it's probably rotated in a forward direction. If you happen to notice that one hamstring is tighter than the other and it's on your sore side, then it's probably rotated backwards. So how do you fix the problem? So let's say that this SI joint is rotated in a forward position like that. Well, how would you fix that? Well, ideally you wanna rotate it in a backwards direction like that. And so how would you do that? Well, if you go ahead and lay down on the bed like this, and it's just very much like the test, but then the one that you want to pull backwards towards you, you're going to pull up towards your chest. So that rotates the SI joint in a backwards direction like this. And now you'll let the other leg drop down. It can either be on the bed or if it's not too painful on your back, you can let it hang off the bed. But either way, like this or like that. And then most of the action that you're going to be doing is with this leg that's up here. So you're gonna pull it up toward your chest, which again rotates the SI joint in a backwards direction like that. Pull it up as far as you can comfortably. Then you're gonna push away like this. So if you can't see, I'm kind of pushing against my hands, using my hands for resistance and pushing like that. Then after you push for about five seconds or so, you relax and you pull it closer 
to your chest. And then you push again. And then relax and pull it closer to your chest. And finally, one more time, you push again and pull it closer to your chest. So within 15 to 30 seconds, you, know, you can bring that SI joint back into place where it's supposed to be and help relieve the pain. Now, again, that doesn't necessarily fix it permanently, but that is usually a quick fix if you happen to have a forward rotated SI joint. Now, what about if your SI joint is rotated backwards? Well, for the sake of the camera angle, let's say that this one is rotated in a backwards direction like that. So how would I fix that? Well, I want to rotate it forwards now. So we're going to hang this leg off the bed, just like before. And then you kind of pull your leg down towards the ground like that. And then let it fall a little bit farther. And then let it pull down towards the ground and then let it fall a little bit farther. So each time you go down towards the ground, you're kind of rotating your SI joint in a forward direction. An alternate that you could use to help with that same problem is just to push up against your hand like this. If you can hold this with one hand and then let it fall and push up and then let it fall. And that uses the tension in your hip flexor muscles to pull this SI joint forwards. So that's the correction for the other type of problem, an SI joint that's rotated backwards. Now, like I said, those tips both work really well to give you some quick relief if you're having a sudden severe SI joint pain. But what do you do to keep that from coming back? Well, if your muscles are too stiff, then you wanna fix those muscle imbalances by stretching out the muscles that are too stiff. So if the hip flexors are too stiff, you wanna stretch out the hip flexors. If the hamstrings are too stiff, you wanna stretch out the hamstrings. And I've got other videos that'll walk you through in more detail how to do those specific stretches. Additionally, you want to strengthen the muscles that are too long. So if your hip flexors are too stiff, that'll pull your SI joint forwards and it'll lengthen your abdominal muscles. It'll also probably lengthen your glutes and hamstrings. So if these muscles are too stiff in this diagonal, then you wanna strengthen these muscles that are too weak in that diagonal. Conversely, if your hamstrings are too stiff and you know, possibly your abdominals are too stiff, then that's gonna pull you into a backward rotation of your pelvis and you wanna strengthen the muscles in this diagonal. So that would be strengthening your hip flexors, strengthening your back extensors. But the best way to fix an uh, SI joint problem long-term is to get some help for it, to seek out help from a physical therapist in your area who's experienced in treating SI joint problems. And if you happen to be located in St. Louis, we'd be happy to help you out and figure out what's causing your specific SI joint problem as well as what you can do to stretch out the correct muscles and strengthen the correct muscles to keep the problem from coming back over and over. And if you're watching this from somewhere else, I would recommend finding a physical therapist in your area. Specifically, a manual physical therapist is someone who will probably have the most experience treating this type of problem. And no matter where you're watching from, if you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.